I'll close with six brief exhortations. I'm reminded of the missionary C.T. Studd. He and his wife came together for marriage, and the motto for their wedding was, United to fight for Jesus. So that's what you all need to be as you go forward. Six brief exhortations. Number one, let the glory of God govern your marriage. This is about Him first and about you second. Let the glory of God govern your marriage. Number two, let the will of God unfold and guide your home. Let the will of God unfold and guide your home. You should be thankful that you don't know the future of God's will yet. But you let Him unfold and guide your future as you let the will of God lead you. Number three, let the Spirit of God fill and empower your marriage. Let the Spirit of God fill and empower your marriage. You greatly need the Spirit of God to keep your marriage on course in the good times, in the hard times, in the dark times, in the glorious times. Number four, let the Word of God dwell richly in your hearts and in your home. Let the Word of God dwell richly in your hearts and in your home. Number five, let the gospel of God's grace fuel your marriage and your life. Major much on the gospel. When you sin against one another, go to the gospel. The gospel is the remedy. Forgiveness, because he has forgiven you of so much. Let the gospel of God fuel your marriage and your life. And sixth, let the people of God be your family. Always. Let the people of God be your family. Together today, say to the Lord, your people shall be our people. Psalm 142 says, the righteous shall surround me and you will deal bountifully with me. Well, let's pray together as we move on in this special ceremony. Join me in prayer.